Hey skiers, I'm Jeff from SkiEssentials.com. Welcome to our 2023 ski test. Right here we've got the Atomic Redster X9S. Um, this ski is basically as precise, as much of a, a knife-like ski as you're ever going to find. If you want just the ultimate and edge-to-edge -edge quickness in a carving ski, it is pretty darn hard to beat this thing. Um, this doesn't really like fall under any kind of traditional race categories. It's more just designed to be, like I said, an incredibly responsive, incredibly quick carving ski. Um, it is 65.5 millimeters underfoot. That is, I, I guess, the narrowest ski I can think of off the top of my head. It is incredibly narrow underfoot. There are benefits to that. There are also some, not drawbacks, but limitations to that, which we can get into. Uh, turn radius in this ski is 15.2. This is the 175 centimeter length here. So we're kind of right smack dab in between what I would consider a consumer slalom and a consumer GS ski. So that's what I mean when I say it doesn't really fall under any traditional race categories. It's really just a fun, ultra responsive carving ski. Um, ultra is actually a word that carries through this ski quite a lot. It's got ultra wall sidewalls and it's got Atomic's ultra power wood core. So it's like the stiffest, densest core that, that Atomic makes. And that's pretty evident when you just try and hand flex this thing. It is darn stiff and that does come through in its performance as well. Um, we get tight no laminates in this ski. So kind of traditional horizontal sheets of metal and then we get Atomic's RevoShock S system. So this is the same thing that you'd see on Michaela Schifrin's World Cup skis. Um, it's basically, without getting into the details, it's a really cool technology that does a fantastic job eliminating unwanted vibrations in the ski. So in a ski like this that's designed to be powerful and responsive, um, it's nice to kind of smooth out the forebody of the ski, just give you a better feel, a better snow feel, better connection to the ground below you. Um, you're not going to see any rocker in a ski like this. You know, we just get long traditional camber, that stiff flex pattern, narrow waist, and you add up all those things. And this thing is just incredibly fun to link carving turns on. You know, it loves being on firm snow. Like I said, a ski this narrow does bring with it some limitations. You know, you're not going to want to take this thing into soft snow. Maybe some of you will leave a comment and be like, I can do that. And that's fine. You can do that. It's just there are better tools if you're looking for an all mountain ski, something with soft snow versatility or for variable snow conditions. I'd even bring up a ski like the Redster Q9.8 or the Redster Q7. A lot of similar properties in skis like that, a lot of similar technology, um, but those skis have wider waist width, so they're gonna be a little bit better in softer snow, but you don't get the same edge-to-edge -edge precision as you have on this Redster X9S. So some of the best, best, most technical and most aggressive skiers in our test we put on this ski and, and it tends to satisfy that type of skier. If you're really strong, if you're really aggressive, and if you have really established technique, you know how to drive a ski, it doesn't matter to you that it's, it's stiff, or rather it doesn't matter in like a downside that it's stiff. You know, you can handle that stiffness, you can harness its energy, and you can use it to your advantage. So incredibly fun just to get it to sing and, and come across the fall line. It, it just, it it has such a, so much pizzazz to it, just such an energetic, responsive, just extremely precise skiing experience that I know I've said a few of those words a few times and it, it's just, it's one of those things that you can't put too much emphasis on that side of it or, or that that part of its nature is it really is just, just a, a carving weapon. Um, pretty one dimensional, like I said, you know, it, it is really just designed for that on trail carving, but Gosh, I, you know, I, if if everyone had the means, if if money was wasn't a, wasn't a thing, or if we all had a little bit more of it, 
Um, this is the type of ski that I, I kind of think that like everybody should have a ski like this in their quiver. It's really nice to have a ski that you can take out when you haven't had fresh snow in a while, you know? We all love to think about when we're going to get our next face shots and deep powder day, but realistically there are more days where we're just skiing firm snow. Again, I can like hear the comments coming through already where somebody's probably going to be like, I get powder all the time because I live in Revelstoke or something, and that's fantastic. Good for you. Uh, not everyone's that lucky. A lot of us spend a lot of days on just groomed slopes, and having a tool like this really allows you to make the most of those days. You won't get bored as quickly. You know, this, this is not a boring ski by any stretch of the imagination. Although it's kind of designed for one thing, it does that one thing exceptionally well, um, and it's an extremely rewarding skiing experience too. So that's it. That's the Redster X9S from Atomic. Great ski. Let us know if you have any questions about it, and we'll see you out there on the hill.